right, we're gonna just do a quick video. Um, I'm not a prepper and I didn't build this system to be like a prepper system. I built my off-grid solar system because my power utility company was, uh, the bill was going up, the kilowatts uh, price was going up. It's like tripled, quadrupled in the past couple years. Uh, that's why I built the system. But we're just gonna go really quickly over what would happen uh, in an off-grid situation. So I'm gonna shut the power off here. Now the house has no power and we're gonna go check on the MPPs. All right, there's the MPPs. Uh, they're still running. You could probably hardly hear me because the fans are blowing. Plus, I got that external fan keeping them cool. But as of right now, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. My battery is at 80% full, and I'm dumping about 4,000 watts into the battery. And <clears throat> there's the batteries. And let's go look where that power is coming from. Okay, here's where the power is coming from. I've got 20 uh, 400 watt solar panels, and this is right now currently bringing in the five to 6,000 uh, watts that are dumping into the, uh, the battery. I think it was 5,000 of the battery. That means the house is using about 1,000 of that watts. Here's the other array that I have. So <clears throat> keep in mind, this is gonna be, this is a, a prepper video, even though I'm not a prepper, um, just showing uh, the benefits of an off-grid system if you were a prepper. So that right now is producing 6,000 watts. There it is. Now, here's the contrast of this compared to 1,600 watts. Okay, there's a, a, a Honda EU2000, which I think is right here, that one, uh, 1,600 watts. Uh, it doesn't like going to 2,000 watts. So here's 1,600 watts, which may be a one step in the house, but in an off grid situation where the power is down for multiple days, this will not last. First of all, you're going to run out of fuel. And this thing's only going to run for, I don't know, a couple hours, and then it's going to die. Once it dies, it's going to need fuel, and you're going to have to go to the gas station. Maybe your car doesn't have fuel. Maybe the gas stations are closed because the power has been down for a few days. Uh, that is going to become useless. Not only that, if you did have a large uh, fuel storage uh, somewhere, you can't run that at nighttime. You, I mean, you could, but all your neighbors are going to hear it. And if they hear a generator running at your house, uh, and, and times are, you know, people are getting desperate for food, uh, they're going to be knocking on your door. So that is not a solution for uh, a prepper. I mean, maybe as a, a plan C, but uh, this is it right here. Here's 6,000 watts, making no sound at all, powering everything, and storing all excess power into the battery versus this guy who uh, is only going to run for about two hours, and then it's going to be useless. So on to the next part. If the power's down for multiple days, and even if the, if the water is off, you're gonna have no supply of water. So you need water storage. Well, I don't have water storage because I'm not a, not a prepper, but in that case, well, I got my pool. It's 14,000 gallons, and that pump needs to run every day for you know anywhere from six to 10 hours per day, or all the water goes bad. So everyone that has a pool, uh, their, their pool's gonna be useless for, uh, you know, drinking water, if you had a way of taking the chlorine out with a filter. Um, they're not really gonna be using it because it's gonna turn yellow and green and just be sludge. So um, you gotta have a way to run that pump. And again, that goes back to the off-grid system. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to run that pump every single day, because unlike the generators as plan C, the plan A is the uh, solar. And every single day, it's like, getting, it's like getting free gas for this generator. Every single day, I'm getting power for free that I can use in, in any way that I like. 
Not only that, I can store it, save it for the next day. If I know the cloudy day is coming up, I can be more um, power conscious on the house and save it for, for the next day. So let's go over and check out the Tesla charger. Okay, again, back to the, um, the situation of the power being out for multiple days. Everybody's car will be out of gas and there'd be no way to fill the gas tanks up because the gas station will probably not be working. But in my case, you know, if I'm making 40 to 50 kilowatts a day, I've got my Tesla charger that is still operational and I could dump power into the Tesla. Uh, so essentially I could put however much power I want to however far I need to drive. Uh, so the electric car will be uh, the only transportation that you'd be able to use if the power was out for a long period of time. Uh, the Tesla will get three miles per kilowatt. That's what it's rated at. Uh, I can I can get about four miles per kilowatt if you drive, you know, 60 miles per hour. So back to the prepping part of it. You really cannot beat an off-grid system for a prepper. It has so many benefits. Driving your car uh, when no one else is going to be able to drive their car because they're going to be out of gas. And you have a daily supply of power that you could choose to dump into your car. Next is powering your house. Uh, after a few days of the power being out, Everyone's food is going to be bad. They're going to have no food, but your food is not because you got your refrigerator still running, your freezer still running. So uh, this is the only way to go. I'm not sure, too, if other people's solar that they buy from companies, if it will still be operational. Uh, if the Internet's down and the power's out, I'm not sure how their systems work. But mine, 100%, none of this stuff is hooked up to the Internet. None of this stuff is powered uh, by the Internet nor can it ever be hacked and change anything here because um, it, it doesn't work that way. There's no way that information could be uh, sent to my system to turn off. So this is the only way to go at it. Um, if you're planning on doing your own solar, I would highly recommend uh, this setup.